Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that let A 1 comma 1, B minus 4 comma 3 and C minus 2 comma minus 5 be the vertices of a triangle ABC. Further, we have been told P is a point on BC and triangle 1 and triangle 2, the symbols which are shown to us are areas of the triangles A, P, B and triangle A, B, C respectively. So we have been told this and this are the areas and further we have also been given here that triangle 1 upon triangle 2 means the ratio of the areas of these two triangles are given to us as 4 to 7. Then we have been asked to find the area enclosed by lines AP, AC and X axis. So we have been asked to find the area which is enclosed by these lines AP, AC and X axis. And if I talk about the options that are given to us here, the options are 1 by 4, 3 by 4. The third option given to us is 1 by 2 and the last option given to us is 1. So we need to figure out which one of the four options is the correct area enclosed between this three lines AP, AC and X axis. So first if I draw the triangle ABC, let's do that. If I draw the triangle ABC. So A, I know it is one comma one. B, I have been given the coordinate as minus four comma three. And C, I have been given as minus 2 comma minus 1. So I have this triangle ABC with me. Now we have been told P is the point on side BC. Somewhere here, let's say. Such that area of triangle APB and area of triangle ABC are delta 1 and delta 2. So ABP, this smaller triangle is delta 1. And the whole triangle's area is given to us as delta 2. So basically this area becomes delta 2 minus delta 1. So this area of this smaller triangle is delta 2 minus delta 1. Further, we have been given the ratio of delta 1 upon delta 2 as 4 upon 7. So from this, if I do find delta 1 and if I take the common multiple as x, Delta 1 becomes 4x and delta 2 becomes 7x. So if I find the area of this other smaller triangle, it becomes delta 2 minus delta 1, which is 7x minus 4x, that is 3x. So I get the ratio of these two smaller triangles now, that is 4x and this is 3x. So I get delta 1 upon delta 2 minus delta 1, that is 4x upon 3x. Now if I just apply the idea, because delta 1 is nothing but area of this triangle ABP. So if I write that, area of triangle ABP upon area of triangle, the other triangle we had here was APC is equal to 4x upon 3x. So if I cancel out x now, I get the ratio 4 upon 3. Area of triangle ABP half into BP into height. So height if I draw let's say perpendicular to the base from A. Let's say AH. So AH is my perpendicular height. So I'll write that as AH upon half into BC into AH. It is equal to 4 upon 3. So if I cancel this halves and AH, I get BP upon PC the ratio is 4 upon 3. So I understand that my base BC, which is there of the triangle, it is divided in the ratio of 4 is 2. 
once i have the ratio with me i can just find the coordinates of p using section formula so i can see here p divides bc internally p divides bc internally in the ratio of 4 is 2 so if i see here I know the coordinates of P L H X and Y. X is given as M X two plus N X one upon M plus it. Y we know it is given as M Y two plus N Y one upon. So if I just use the idea, I know M and N are four and three. They are also four and. So if I try to figure out, let's see what I do. This is your x1 and y1. This is your x2 and y2. So x2 is minus 2 and x1 is minus 4. So you get minus 2 and minus 4. That gives you minus 8 and minus 12. That is minus 20 by 7. And here if I see, 7 is still in the denominator. But here if you see, y2 is minus 5. y1 is 3. So minus 5. And so minus 20 plus 9, that is minus 11 by 7. So you get it as minus 20 plus 9. So you have the coordinates of P now. That is minus 20 by 7 and minus 11 by 7. Now once you have the coordinates of P, you can just find the equation of lines because we have been told to find the area enclosed by the lines AP, AC and X axis. So if I try to find the equation of AP and AC first, let's do that. So equation of line AP and AC. So let's find that. For line AP, we have the coordinate A1, comma 1. And if I see the P coordinate, minus 20 by 7 and minus 11 by 7. If I try to find the slope of this line, y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So that becomes minus 11 by 7 minus 1 upon minus 20 by 7 minus 1. So you get minus 11 and minus 7, that is minus 18 upon 7 and minus 20 minus 7 minus 27 by 7. So this gets cancelled, you are left with. 9 twos are 9 threes are so 2 by 3 is the slope here. Now, once you get the slope of this line, you have the equation of line given as y minus y1 equal to n x minus x1. So, y minus y1, if I put let's say 1 only here, it becomes easier for us, equal to m, m is already known 2 by 3 x minus 1. So this is your one equation of line for AP. Now if I try to find for the other line which was AC. Let's do that. So for A and C we know the coordinates are 1, 1 and minus 2, minus 5. So if I figure out the slope of that line first. For AC, A is 1, 1 and C is minus 2, minus 5. Right? So minus 2 minus 5. If I find the slope of this line as well, m is y2 minus y1 upon x2. So you get it. y2 minus y1 means minus 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1. So minus 6 upon minus 3 which is 2. So you get the slope. If you put it in the equation of line y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1. y minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1. So you get another equation of line that is for AC. Now once you have the three lines, let's say AP, AC and this is x-axis. So on x-axis we know y-coordinate is 0. Here also y-coordinate is 0. And this is A which is 1. So this was your lines AC. This is your line somewhere is it minus 2 minus 5 and this is your line A which were having the coordinates as I think minus 20 by 7 and minus 11 by 7. Now once you have this coordinate if 
So I just want to find the intersection. I have AP and AC to find this line's intersection with x axis. What I can do is I can put the y coordinate 0 in the equations of lines that we have obtained for AP and AC and we'll get this coordinate. So let's find that coordinates also. So if I put it here, if I put y as equal to 0, let's see what I get the value of x. So I'll get the line intersection of AC with x axis. If I put it here 0, 0 minus 1, it's minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 2. So if I put minus 2 there, it becomes 2 minus 1, 1 is equal to 2x. So x becomes half. And with that, you get the coordinate as half of us. If I try to figure out the previous equation, putting y again 0, 0 minus 1, so minus 1 and multiplied with 3 gives you minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 2. If I take it here, minus 1 is equal to 2x, x becomes minus half. So you have x as minus half here. Once you have all the three coordinates, now let's just find the area of the triangle. So area enclosed between the lines which are given to us, that is AP, AC, and x axis. It is given by area is half odd of x1, y2 minus y3, x2, y3 minus y1, and x3, y1 minus y3. So now if I have half, this becomes x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. Let's solve this. So you get half, x1 is 1, 0 minus 0, plus x2 minus half, y3 minus y1, so 0 minus 1, so minus half, 0 minus 1, plus half, 1 minus. So you get that as half, this becomes 0, this becomes minus half and minus 1 and multiplied half, plus half. So half into mod of half plus half, that is 1. So half into mod of 1, which is half. So you get half squared. That's your area of triangle. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this question, which deals with the ideas of straight lines. So once we had three vertices, A, B, and C, we figured out the coordinates of P using the sectional formula. As we got that P divides BC internally in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Once we got the coordinates of P using the section formula, we found out the equation of lines AP and AC using Y minus Y1 equal to M into X minus X1. Once we got three lines, we found the intersection points. We got three coordinates or the vertices of the triangle and then we just found or figured out the area of the triangle which is enclosed between this A and so that becomes equal to half square units and that matches with option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll, de I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as zeros. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.